All right. Hello, it's Riley from Precondo, replacing Jordan today to bring you an exciting uh, development in South Oakville, one of my favorite areas that I'm very familiar with. Um, we are talking about Brawny Lakeside, so located right at the corner of Brawny Road and Lakeshore Road West. Um, steps to Brawny Marina, Brawny Go, um, South Oakville location. So let's take a look at the Google Earth just to get our bearings here. So zooming out, um, you can see Burlington here, a little bit further west, and then you have downtown Oakville just over here to the east. Um, going back to Brawny, which sort of rests right in the middle. Mostly, you know, your typical west end, um, you know, uh, single family, uh, low rise sort of area. Very few condominium options along the waterfront in general. Uh, a lot of the waterfront real estate taken by homes or uh, or parkland. So getting a, a proper waterfront condo can be challenging and rarely offered. All right, so just to get our bearings here, let's bring up Google Earth. Uh, you can see the site here at Brawny Road and Lakeshore. Um, running on the south side of Lakeshore. This is a pre-existing condominium right here that overlooks Brawny Marina that is not going anywhere. You also have uh, some low-rise commercial and residential townhomes here that are going to stay. Um, and of course, the only real relevant um, new build condominium or newer build condominium in the area would be the Shores by Fernbrook and Citizen. We'll get into that later, um, right at the end of the road. But right here is the site. Uh, it is replacing a few um, commercial spaces, uh, restaurants, cafes, shops, etc. Those will be replaced in the new development. We'll talk about that in a moment. But that's the site, that's the location, conveniently located right in the heart of downtown Brawny. So, some quick facts just about the development. It's um, 203 units, low rise, six story, exactly what we like to see. Um, in this area, a great alternative to like, high-rise condo living. Also, usually in low-rise boutique buildings, we tend to see more inspired floor plan design, a little bit more flexibility in terms of the customization for floor plans that can be offered from the builder. You're not um, stuck in the constraints of a high-rise tower build, so there's going to be some more selection um, beyond what's currently offered in the floor plans. Um, end user focus, larger suites, no studios at all in this development. Uh, I can't imagine a better project for downsizers or for anyone that wants um, excellent outdoor water or outdoor terrace space on the waterfront. Um, we'll get into some of those floor plans as well. It's a mix of your typical condo units. Um, there are some penthouses with private rooftop terraces that are accessed from within inside the unit, which is Fantastic, very rare to find something like that and very cool. Um, there is also some signature suites that are very expensive and very awesome. Very large floor plans with significant terraces on the roof with waterfront views. So get in touch with more information about those. Uh, one of the interesting features that sets Brawny Lakeside apart is sort of its energy efficiency. It will be using Track International's Geo Exchange system, which uses um, piping that goes 140 meters down into the earth for. Um, low energy uh, heating and cooling throughout the year and also the ability to control heating and cooling within your unit at any time during the year which is also very important to a lot of end users besides that you also have all the smart home features uh, keyless entry app uh, digital concierge uh, video conference with the with the front door whoever's buzzing in um, all the features you'd expect in a brand new uh, modern condo and lastly on location, uh, as mentioned before, Brawny Go is right nearby for pipeline access to downtown. So some quick information on, uh, on pricing and price points. Uh, we have one beds from 690, one bedroom plus 10, 755, two beds seven, or 980, sorry. And the rooftop terrace units start uh, just over a million bucks. Signature suites start from 4 million. Um, there aren't many of them and they are massive. So. They come in at around 1450 a square foot at towards the high end of the building. Um, and speaking of price per square foot, fairly good value here. Some of the units, almost as low as a thousand bucks a square foot. That's so hard to find in new construction these days. Um, I would say the average sort of floats in and around 1250 a square foot, 1300 a square foot. So uh, for some of the smaller stuff, but even then there's some one bedroom plus dens that are 1200 bucks a square foot. So really just get in touch for a more nuanced um, kind of rundown on the plans and pricing. Obviously, um, there'll be a link for you to do so later. 
uh, deposit structure, pretty standard, 15% in the first year and a half, last 5% on occupancy, which is summer 2026. Uh, standard parking, 600 square feet and up. So all the one bedroom plus dens should have parking. Uh, also unique parking and storage combos where you have a storage locker in your parking spot. Extremely convenient. Um, I've had one of these in the past personally, and I would much prefer it over your typical um, above grade locker that's in a, in a locker room on, on ground level or what have you. Uh, just looking at the render here, this is a um, southeast render, so you can see the um, north side of the building here off Lakeshore, and then this is Brawny here. Uh, you can see some of the rooftop terraces and the rooftop units, uh, more on that in a moment. Uh, the ground floor retail, which will be replaced, will be incorporated into the development. Uh, as to what it is or when, when that will be fully leased, uh, obviously it will be after completion and tough to really say at this point. Indoor amenities. Oh, actually, firstly, let's take a look at this render here. You can actually get the uh, positioning proper if we look at it from this way here. That to get your bearings. There you go. So to the west, we have the marina. To the south, we have water and basically all around in that general direction. Depending on unit, depending on rooftop, I mean the rooftop terraces will obviously have really good exposure, um, but direct waterfront exposure limited to a few sides of the building. Uh, within the courtyard on the, on the west wing, uh, east facing on the east wing, and, and anything south facing. So um, not a lot of units, but given the unique structure of the building, everyone should have some degree of waterfront exposure with exception of, you know, the west and north facing units. Indoor amenities include a lounge, party room, gym, a business center, tech lounge, and co-working space. We like to see this very common now with the work from home crowd. Will we be working from home in 2026? I don't know. But I, I could imagine using these amenities um, myself. You also have a games room and theater to boot. So if there's families or, or children, um, you'll have amenities for their use as well. Uh, regarding the rooftop and outdoor amenities, you have, well, first of all, you have the major, the courtyard within the development itself, located uh, just at ground level, with just some lounge areas, nothing too special, just a nice landscaped courtyard. But the rooftop amenity for those people who don't have a private rooftop terrace, um, you do have barbecues, cabanas, loungers, uh, a significantly large um, outdoor amenity space that, op that occupies one of, the, um, one of the wings. So if you wanted to get out on the roof and enjoy some of the waterfront views and have a barbecue and they have a little uh, celebration area, they call it, but it's more just an outdoor dining area that you can book, you can also do that as well. Um, moving forward, you can see the lobby here. Uh, we have a great video that I'll show you in a moment. Some of the suite interiors, they are using a design studio, so there will be a lot of customization offered to those who wish it, uh, all depending, but this is the base finish. They do have a presentation center, a physical one with a model kitchenette and finish vignette and all that good stuff. So ultimately, if you want to come in and see things in person, we can make that arrangement. Um, moving on, you can see just one of the uh, outdoor balconies overlooking the courtyard. There's a good sample of the courtyard itself, just with some day loungers, what have you. Um, obviously, privacy is, is more of a concern on the courtyard units, but there is still a decent enough setback between them. And the overall angle of exposure is faced towards the water facing south in the courtyard. So you should be able to see the water at the very least. Um, there is an example of one of the rooftop terraces on the signature suite, the private roof that overlooks the water. Very nice. Uh, in terms of nearby comparables and sales, we really only have one. Remember, um, going back to the earth file here, we have 11 Brownie. This one built by Fernbrook and Citizen back in 2013. Obviously, they benefit from having the best lot on the block in terms of direct south exposure, a low turnover building with limited sales, and almost entirely end user and downsizer occupied. A good alternative for those looking um, in South Oakville for waterfront views, but the building is starting to show its age a little bit, being built in 2013. Um, but what we're looking at here is comparable sale value. So as I had mentioned, some of the really, really high end units in the building run for 1450 a square foot at Brawny Lakeside. Here, uh, you get a mixture of anywhere from as low as 1000 to 1250 on average for your typical units that may not have direct waterfront exposure. Um, looking at two recent sales from 2022, 
We have a, a unit 711, which was uh, thir just over 1,300 square feet that sold for 1,500 a square. And that one had direct waterfront exposure. And then unit 414, which did not, which sold for 1,300 a square foot. So um, on average, you're, you're pretty close to, to where the current market is um, for its direct comparable building. I mean, that it's tough to really find that with a lot of the new construction launches based on how expensive everything is. But uh, the valuation is good here at Bronny Lakeside. Looking at some price growth over the years, steady growth, um, obviously 2022, a uh, bit of an outlier because we don't have a lot of sales to base their data off of, but we did have 15 sales on average the past following years. Overall, I think the valuation is good for something like this. It's in an area that has an aging demographic, in an area that has strong uh, property value. And these are wealthy downsizers who will be looking for a new build alternative to call home in their neighborhood. And there really just isn't a lot of that, right? So going to the, uh, I just wanted to show you guys one more thing, a interior rendering, um, but does showcase some of the buildings. So as you walk in off of Brawny Road, you come into the building, there's two elevators that take you up above. So if you go up, you can see the keyless door entry system here along with the smart home system that's standard in every unit, not just the penthouse units. Coming in here, you can see the waterfront views, very nice finishes, pot lighting standard, um, oversized kitchen island. This is per plan. I believe this is a one of one plan. This is unit 628. Um, does have some nice upgrades. Like I said, it is a design, you know, they are using a design team. There'll be various options for you to upgrade and customize as you see fit. Um, with regards to floor plans, you are able to combine floor plans here for a $5,000 uh, charge. It's just a visit with the architect and they will be able to combine units that are side by side. If you find that it does not meet your needs, um, the whole building is designed with customization in mind. So you will be able to adapt the floor plans or purchase a neighboring unit to create a larger floor plan and purchase, for example, you could purchase the corresponding rooftop terrace um, if you purchase two rooftop units side by side to create something um, truly unique. And yeah, you guys get the gist of it. I just want to show you the rooftop terrace here. So there's one of the balconies that runs along the unit. All units have balconies, which is nice. Going upstairs, this is what you'd see in most of the rooftop terrace units that have the private roof. So access through the kitchen and then you go up here to the roof and you enjoy a beautiful summer day. Now, whether or not you can use this space in the winter, that's your prerogative. Um, whether, you know, if you want to have, offer some winterized features, you are going to be able to access your roof in the winter, just not the public amenity roof. So if you still wanted to go up to your roof and barbecue or, you know, have a fire pit or something out there in the, in the winter, you can still get some use out of the terrace in the winter months. And of course, the storage is always there, right? You can have an outdoor shed or something like this. Um, that something like that. There is the uh, outdoor amenity terrace for the residents. Uh, it does overlook the water on the um, southwest corner of the building. So everyone will be able to enjoy outdoor waterfront dining and living, um, even if they currently don't have a uh, waterfront exposure unit or rooftop terrace. And that's the gist of it. Thank you so much. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out with the link below and book a consult call with me, Riley. I'll be happy to help you and uh, set up any appointments or in-person visits to the Presentation Center to learn about this exciting South Oakville development.